It is the 15th of November 2017, and that can mean only one thing. It is time for episode 33 of Boruto. The Super Beast Scrolls. And this art student has a problem. Is that too much of a niche reference? Fuck it, my whole channel is a niche reference. So, this episode is the first of what I assume to be like five filler episodes. Though, I prefer to call them character episodes. They're filler in that the main plot is not forwarded at all, but I still think they're kind of useful because they flesh out the character and that's important in the long run because obviously if you don't care about your characters, then, you know, your series is not going to do very well, especially with anime. And honestly, the storyline for this one was pretty basic, but I enjoyed it nonetheless. It also kind of delved into how jutsus worked as well. It established that not only can you not really copy art-based jutsus, but there's also linked emotionally to the user. Now, some people might get a little annoyed at that, but I think it's pretty cool. I know it is a trope in anime of, you've just got to believe in yourself and stuff like that, but you know. But this is, you know, the Naruto universe we're talking about, where believing in yourself and friendship are literally the strongest powers. And it also kind of raised the point that Super Beast Scrolls could be used to make clones, because Himawari's painting came to life near the end, and so there were clone versions of Naruto and Himawari, meaning that if the artist was really good, that could also be a method of making clones. Maybe this is already something that everyone knows, though, I don't know, maybe I just missed out on whatever. But much like last week's episode, I find myself with not much to say about this episode, really. I thought the ending was pretty cool, with Inojin summoning that giant bird is pretty hype for me, for sure. I don't know, it was nice to see Inojin get the spotlight, really, and maybe show off just how how good of a painter he is. Honestly, for someone his age to paint something this beautiful is really impressive. I don't think I could paint something that beautiful if I literally traced it from a book. It was also kind of fun to see other pieces of art in the episode. Something that has always really interested me about anime that features art within it, kind of like art featuring art. It's kind of the same way that I really like when games feature games within them, or anime feature video games actually. It's just interesting to see people's fictional take on something that's trying to be like real life but obviously can't be due to copyright reasons. Not quite the same thing for art, but you know, still nice to see Boruto's take on Chocho there. Well, now that I've exhausted anything else, uh, apart from mentioning that Himawari should have a full-time teaching position at the academy, hashtag Himawari best art teacher, let's not get that trending on Twitter, that's not going to do anything, I think it's time we discussed NEXT TIME. It's hard to really pin down what next week's episode is about. I guess it's about Boruto learning that he needs to focus more or something, and some shooting stars are involved. Oh god, shooting stars, anime. No, please, my emotions can only take so much. And that about wraps it up for my review of episode 33 of Boruto. Another pretty short one this week, but as with last week, not that much happened really where I can give much of my opinion on. I like art, art is fun, you know, Jun's a cool character, it was nice to see him grow as a person, I guess. That's about it. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this and would like to see more in the future, then maybe consider subscribing. That will be the best way to be notified when I put a one up next week. And of course, leaving a like or dislike on the video is also quite useful. Let me know how I'm doing. And of course, if you want to let me know how I'm doing in more detail, then do feel free to leave a comment. Of course, leave anything in the comment section. So long as it's not a spam for adding you on Instagram, as I have had continuously for months. And until next time, goodbye.